this is a great and historic story. And if you're interested further, you can read a lot more about it. There's many books written about the Battle of Trafalgar. But for our purposes, Nelson understood three things about strategy that apply to us uh, every bit as much today as they did back in 1805. The first thing that he understood was that he needed a detailed plan of battle that everyone could understand and buy into. So it wasn't just, hey, approach the, you know, the enemy willy-nilly and we'll see what happens. He did a lot of study. He put a lot of thought and research into what should their strategy be? How could they actually win? Nelson also understood that if his band of brothers didn't buy into the plan, it wouldn't work. He needed them to debate it with them so that they'd be truly committed to whatever they decided together. The magic wasn't in having a plan, but was in having multiple conversations about how the battle could unfold. So he took a very different approach than was normal at that time. He would have his fellow captains into the flagship and they would just have unfiltered conversation and debate. Now, that wasn't the way things were done back then. Usually it was if you were invited to uh, the Admiral or the Commodore's cabin, you would wait until you were spoken to. It was a formal affair. And if he asked you a question, you'd answer, but it was all very rank oriented and very formal. Nelson didn't want formality. He wanted input because he understood if these people don't buy in, if they're not committed to the plan, if they nod their heads, but they don't really believe it, it's not gonna work. So he wanted them to debate and really commit. Here's the third thing. Nelson understood that when they actually engaged the enemy, everything would change. So the plan had to be flexible in order to be effective. Now, just imagine the scene with me for a minute. You've seen movies like this. Imagine, these guys engage the enemy. There's the deafening boom of these cannons. There's smoke everywhere. There are splinters flying all around. People around you are being blown to bits. It's a terrible scene of carnage and noise and smoke. And in the middle of it, the thinking of that day was, well, just look at the, at the flagship and, and obey the signal flags. Well, it was impossible at that time. So Nelson made sure that all of his captains knew what they should do, but he said this at the end. He said, use your initiative. If you see a hole in the line of battle and you can't see signal flags and you're not sure what to do, just be an aggressive fighting captain, pull alongside another ship and be an aggressive fighter. So uh, his captains had a very detailed plan of what to do, but they also had the freedom to take personal initiative and change that plan if they needed to. Well, our plans need to be the same. They need to be detailed and they need to be flexible too because things are always changing. When you actually engage in battle, back in 1805 or for us today, when you get out on the shop floor and things start happening and you're engaging with customers, well, it doesn't go exactly as we planned. So we have to have flexibility in that plan so that it can change as we go.